From Vienna, the city which Banksy chooses to ignore, welcome to Sox Talk Politics. Our guest today, former Deputy Mayor of Athens, Amalia Zippu. Hello and welcome to Sox Talk Politics. In tonight's show, we're talking about... Kid? WTS? What the sock are you doing? Tagging the studio? Don't let me distract you. Why do you have to spray my studio out of all places? Well, obviously, because it's illegal to just tag any wall I like. You know, you can get into serious trouble for doing this in public places. For good reason. Do you know what it's going to cost to replace that wall? Then don't replace it. I don't want to have to see Kid Rock's all the time. Can't help you there, because you see me rocking all the time, whether it's on the wall or not. <laughs> <sighs> Moving on. My friend Amalia Zapu, a fellow artist and former deputy mayor of Athens, launched the platform Synathena that brings together and supports citizens' groups involved in improving the quality of life in the city. Uh... What does that have to do with graffiti? You'll see. And now, give it up for Amalia Zapu. Hello, Amalia. It's lovely to see you again, and thank you for joining us here tonight. Please, tell us what your project, Synathena, is all about. The project is a platform called Synathena. It was a platform that was designed and implemented in the municipality of Athens in 2013 to connect the services of the municipality with uh, civil society and informal and formal groups of people during a moment of crisis. Hmm. Tell us a little bit about the impact of Synathena. Along the flag projects where one was about uh, an abandoned public market at the center of Athens that at the time had no resources either to be managed or to be, uh, or to know what what it should become, since it had failed, uh, let's say business wise at that moment. So we invited the groups that came up from the platform to co co design a way to use that market. So and that market now has become a little bit of a landmark for participative governance, let's say, in the city. And that was the first one at the time. It took, of course, a process of two, three years until it was completed in 17, and now it runs. A second flag project was um, also responding at the challenge of the time that is still on, which has to do with uh, tagging of the city and uh, enormous amount of graffiti. Um, we were asked to find a solution about that. So we invited the graffiti artists and the artist of the city to design a way to protect the city, but also to, to play with the city, with them, instead of having them as an enemy against the municipality, include them in, in various ways. So that was also very much in the spirit of, of the platform. Amalia, do you have any advice for somebody <clears throat> who might want to implement a similar project? Well, I think that, um, you know, there is, there are a lot of mayors today throughout Europe that understand the value of connecting with their civil society. The civil society in the last decade across Europe has changed and developed and become much more dynamic than what we used to know, I think. But I think that the, the most important thing is to have an ear and an eye for what the city does by itself, which is something that municip municipal officers don't have the time usually to do, you know, to look into what is it the citizens are doing, not what they're saying necessarily, but what they're actively doing for their own city. Thank you, Amalia. That is really impressive and has been, as always, an absolute pleasure talking with you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Brian, I need to go. Where to, kid? I'm going to City Hall. Yeah. Uh, that's it for tonight. We had a great show. See you soon. And don't forget to stay 
on your toes. Uh, kid, uh, kid, maybe not City Hall. We want to have the mayor on the show. They're talking.